Hi everybody. I have a new Python script called imagerotator.py. I'll be posting it in the marketplace right after this video and I'll put the link in the video description. We're going to go ahead and get started and I'll show you a quick demo. I've got this little billboard here and I want to display the contents of this folder right here in kind of a random, not random, in a time interval about every you know few seconds I want it to switch. So we're going to go ahead and get started but before we do the one thing you have to remember is to detach this prop from its parent because the Python API for iClone doesn't allow you to find child props at this time. Okay so I'll run this and I'll select my prop. The one thing I want to do though also there's a couple of Make sure your scene is at frame one, you know, otherwise I've seen some strange results. And the other thing, I'm going to go ahead and remove my scene animation because I had a few takes of this. So we'll go ahead and run it this time. You'll see here I've got my time. I'm going to increase it just a little bit. And I want to add the texture to my glow channel. And I don't want random order for this, so I'll go ahead and just click apply images. And I get prompted to select a folder. I'm going to select the folder I just showed you and I'll give this a little bit to run. It's not the fastest, you know, to do this because it has to make a copy of each of the of your prop because the Python API does not actually have a way for you to set the image at a certain frame so what you have to do is what I had to do was I'll show you here I had to make a copy of it and then I just take turns showing the different prop you know at a different interval so and I hide the others at each frame that's demo one it's a pretty simple little uh, tool to use it's just not the fastest I'll go ahead and go back to frame one and I'm going to reattach my sign just before I, not that it really matters, but in case I mess up. So I want to put this back on holder right there. And now I've got two other quick demos to show you. This one I've got my little pizza place here. And I've got these little Christmas lights. They're kind of hard to see. It's a giant Christmas light. So I'm only going to show you two because it takes so long. I'm going to go ahead and run our Python script again. Now this time we're going to go with, I want to increase the interval a little bit. I want them to stay just a little while longer than the last one. And I do want it to be on the glow channel. And this time I want random order because I don't want each of my lights to have the same image at the same time. I've got a folder here I created called Bright Gradient. It's got about 10, 10, excuse me, 10 images in it. So we'll let this run. So I could have made just one and had made copies of it if I wanted it to show the same image at the same time. And I probably could have designed this a little differently and had like a text box and had you props that start with a certain name so you'd have to do this one at a time. But for now it is what it is. So it found 10 files in the directory. I'm not really sure my progress bar is anything accurate. I just wanted to show something while it was running. Okay. Finished that. And I'll just show you that one. We'll just kind of, you know, every uh, so often the light should change. Okay. And I'll do one more of that. And then we'll move on to the last part of this. So. It's all basically the same. Oh, I'm going to, let me take that prop and reattach it back to the pizza place. And I'll do bulb two. So it's kind of a pain in the butt to have to do this a prop at a time. But otherwise you get the same uh, order for the images. So this time we'll select bulb two, about the same interval. And again, random order. So. And again, same folder. So there's definitely some ways I could probably make this a little faster, but for the price, uh, let's go back to that shirts folder again. Okay, 
So this is the last one I'll show you, and then I'll finish the other three when this is uh, when the video is over. But I just thought for Christmas time I would make a really uh, interest, or at least something semi-interesting demo. And the Christmas light, all I did to make them was take a sphere and kind of stretch it out and add a cylinder on the bottom. So that was my uh, budget for Christmas lights for this video. Or actually, my entire life I've never bought Christmas lights. I've lived in houses where my parents did, but I've never felt that uh, that festive. I used to always have a Bah Humbug shirt when I was younger. Okay, so that's done. So now we've got at least two. So if we sit here and run, you can at least see. They may not change at the exact same time. So that's my Christmas lights. You can just imagine the other three are lit up. I don't want to make you sit here and watch me light up three more. And now on to demo three. We'll go back. Let me just real quickly attach my bowl back before I forget. Okay. Now for demo three, I'll just show you a really quick uh, why video three exists. This is for carddriver.py, another Python script on my GitHub repo. The whole reason I wrote this carddriver.py because I wanted an interesting demo for my image rotator video, which is this one. So this is the interesting part, so pay attention. So now we'll move on. I just wanted to show you why I was making the car driver thing got created, because I wanted something interesting for this part. This is another plane, so it's kind of similar to the first one. And I'm going to remove any animation. And I'll go ahead and run my Python script one more time. This time we'll select bowling plane. This one, uh, about the same interval seconds. That's probably fine about there. I do want it to be on a glow channel because that's a kind of dark scene. And then this I don't want random order. So let me just select in my temp folder. I've got eight images in here. There we go. So now we have our little bowling scene. So this is the end of the video. So this was the whole the whole point I created that car driver race and I spent like a week getting that car driver thing to to work right all to make this video for 6 seconds of watching the spare get picked up. That's my short little video of image rotator.py. Let me know if it's worth the price of free or if it's not what I owe you. All right, thanks for watching.